I doubt many of you got into the law enforcement career because you enjoy daily briefings. Briefings can feel tedious at times, and other times they can feel like a waste of time. This week, I wanna talk about why briefings are important and how to do them right. I'm Steve Serbalik, and I'm a panel attorney with ASCOPS in Arizona. I've said it before, and I'll probably say it again, law enforcement is a complicated profession. There is already so much to do and think about that it's no wonder many officers find themselves dreading the squad or shift briefing. They would likely rather be finding crime and arresting bad guys. I don't blame those officers at all. But here's the thing. Law enforcement officers aren't going at it alone. Those officers are a part of a team, whether large or small. Briefings are possibly the one time of the day that everyone working together will be in the same room, getting on the same page about ongoing issues in the area. Talking over ongoing investigations or projects might result in help from squad mates who would otherwise be out of the loop. These bits of information are often exchanged in a briefing. My partner has a question. Yes, I don't really know how to write. Uh, but I do sign and draw pictures. Some departments have department-wide bulletins to share and information. That's great, but briefings allow a more focused, personal approach to information sharing at the squad level and for that shift's window of time. Supervisors, it's your responsibility to engage with your squad or shift to facilitate a successful briefing. If you walk in and say, anybody got anything? No, okay, get out and proceed to dismiss everyone you're failing the men and women who serve under you. Do some prep work. If there isn't pertinent local information to put out, identify a topic that can be taught, even if it's just a refresher. In fact, I may know a YouTube channel that has a number of topics that could make for good briefing ideas. Law enforcement skills and knowledge are often very perishable, and reinforcing good behavior, policies, and law can help keep those officers fresh and help them avoid mistakes. You could also trade responsibilities. Many officers wear more than one hat, as in have sub-responsibilities or specialties. A great way to engage your officers in a briefing is to have them talk about their specialty and what they want or need from their fellow officers related to that specialty. The bottom line is that briefings are a vital part of the communication system of an agency, and many agencies can be bad at communication. There's no reason to let a squad or shift be less effective though, and briefings are a great way to increase that effectiveness. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions on effective leadership, leave them in the comment section down below. As always, please like, subscribe, and make sure your notifications are turned on as it helps these videos go to more officers. Be on the lookout for new videos. They come out every Sunday at 5.30 p.m. Arizona time. I'm Steve Serbalik. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.